Hello and welcome to lesson one on Educator.com's Lessons on HTML 5.0. We're going to be covering a lot in these lessons and to give you an overview of what you'll learn, a little bit of taste, we're going to go over videos and audios. We're going to talk about the different forms and some extra coding that the creators of HTML5 uh, has invented to make it a lot easier. And just to give you a little bit of taste of what HTML5 looks like, well, let's look at some of this uh, coding right here. Let's go right to the video. No longer do we have to worry about uh, embedding videos from YouTube or Facebook. We can actually accommodate really cool cutting edge videos like the one you're seeing right here. Animation type videos where you know you can embed at your own leisure without having to do extra work. The creators of HTML 5.0 have, have created a code that makes it really cool, makes it really smooth for you to go ahead and embed. Same thing with audio files, okay? We can, uh, we've got different audio files uh, you can play with here and when you click on play it plays like you're listening on iTunes or YouTube, wherever it may be. And that's the beauty of this lesson. You'll be learning all that here. Uh, other things you'll be learning if we go ahead and uh, minimize this, you'll be learning. That, well, we went over videos and we're going to, as I told you, we're going to be learning how to embed MP4s, QuickTimes, AVIs, where the audio formats. We'll learn how to Im embed WAV files, MP3s, and AFES. We'll also learn about other formats of audios and videos called OGG. All that is covered in these lessons. We'll also be going over some of the attributes of media. For instance, autoplay, controls, looping, source files. Okay, How to mute, how to use poster. That means how to uh, keep a still image before the video actually plays. And that is a really cool feature, something that you can't really control using YouTube or any kind of embed code. You control the picture that you want to have waiting for you before you play the video. I think that's a real cool feature. Then we've got the height and width of the video. All this fun stuff we're going to be covering. The other cool elements that uh, the creators of HTML5 have embedded was uh, is the action, the forms. Okay, The action code right here, you see form and then action. We can create just about any kind of form to accommodate any kind of database there is. Let's look at an example of a form that, uh, or a series of forms, if you will, that we'll be going over. Okay, look at form number one here. Obviously, some of these are very familiar to you, but this is what you'll be creating. This, in this page right here, you'll be creating radio buttons, you'll be creating checkboxes, you'll be creating drop down menus, okay? You'll be able to browse your file for different forms for upload. You can create passwords. Okay, isn't that cool? Again, labels. All this stuff we're going to be covering in these lessons and much more. Okay, and here's some more forms that we can go, we'll be going over. Okay, in addition to text files, we can also create disabled buttons where nothing is, nothing can be written on. Okay, we can talk about how to control the forms like max length and minimum length, okay? How many characters are allowed to be entered? So really good stuff here about forms and we're going to go all over that and by the end of these lessons you'll be the expert. Okay, moving on on other things that we're going to be discussing, we're going to go over some extra coding, for instance, JavaScripting, okay? We're going to talk about the different parts of a web our HTML uh, document. For instance, there's a header and then there's a body. And in the header, I'm going to go over search engine optimization, but here we're going to talk about extra scripting, such as JavaScripting and cascading style sheets. And you see here in the red letters over here, I've got a very nice JavaScript that we can use in addition to HTML 5.0, kind of like adding a little juice to the engine. Let me demo it right here for you on what you'll be seeing. We click here. Okay, for instance, let me go ahead and uh, increase the size of this a little bit. There you see, so you can see it really clear. And JavaScript allows you to do really cool stuff. For instance, you can go ahead and open a new window. There it is, and you can close that same window. 
you can go ahead and click here to print. Okay. Well, we won't print here, but you can see that it starts a print function. And then, of course, you can go back to the previous page. And that's all the fun stuff that we'll be listening. That's only the tip of the iceberg.